All right, you ready to do this? Let's do it. You ready? Yeah, ready. Rock and roll? Yeah. Bang. All right. Hey, friends, what's going on? My name is Rick Backus. I'm sitting here in Santa Cruz at the Bonnie Dune Winery Tasting Room. I'm with a man who needs no introduction, but I'm going to introduce him anyways. Randall Graham. Cheers, man. Good to meet Cheers. you. Cheers. Good to Thank you for having us. My pleasure. This is pretty cool. We just got to taste some wines out of the tank. We had some 2009s, 2010s. Uh, this vintage, right? And it's always, for anybody who's getting into wine, brand new, who maybe doesn't know Bonnie Dune or who you are, how did you get into this? I mean, what's your elevator pitch when you introduce yourself or when people introduce you? Uh, there is no elevator pitch. There's like, I only have a long form. There's no short form. Um, let's see, I worked in a wine shop by accident. I wandered into a wine shop when I was 20 years old, got a job, um, was exposed to extraordinary wine the best wines ever, I thought to myself, you know what, I need to have these kinds of wines in my life on a regular basis, ergo, I need to learn how to make wine so I can drink wine like this. It's kind of worked out, sort of. But, um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so that's, that's, my, that's my pitch. Yeah, and definitely, I mean, Bonnie Dune has a distinct style for sure. Uh, you've probably seen some of the wines, I mean, in the years past, there's, what are some of the wines, um, Cardinal Zinless? But, very important message, there was a style to Bonnie Dune, and the style has changed and is continuing to change and evolve. And one of the big problems we have right now is people have, Bonnie Dune is a lot like, is a, is a Rorschach test. You say Bonnie Dune, people think, oh, that crazy guy. You know, that crazy <laughs> guy, you know, we're like the crazy labels, right? You know, well, yeah, that was true a while ago. And it's not true so much anymore. Not that the labels aren't still a little wacky, but the wines I'm hoping have express a little more gravitas. Little yeah, they definitely have a style, I'd say, for sure. Uh, so you know, some of the newer ones, wines that people might know, um, Cigar Volant sure. is one that's popular. What are some of the favorites that you have right now that are out in the market? I love this wine we make called Contra. Yeah. And we only have one release on the market, and it's old wine, um, Carrying out in Zinfandel, we had Gitsara from Contra Costa County. When's the last time you ever had, a, ever had a wine from there? Contra Costa County is actually not that far from San Francisco. Come down from Napa, it's a little east. But it, there's a vast cultural divide. Yeah. You, you, you enter the, the portals of Contra Costa County and you're like in West Virginia. It's like Appalachia <laughs> in the Bay Area. It's, it's a special place. Huh. So, yeah, it, it is kind of like a step back in time, much quieter, but um, contra all kinds of random stuff strewn out the side of people's pickup trucks. And that couch on the label was actually was in the vineyard before we, we picked the grapes. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It was not, it was not, it was not photoshopped in. It was actually, I was, it captured the terroir of Antioch, California. Well, each label that you have is in individual and independent. It represents the terroir because that's a big part of your story. You're talking about where the grapes are coming from. Why is each label individual, or why does it look different? You might not put them side by side and know it's the same one. I've never had any marketing classes. I think that's the main problem. I just know nothing about marketing. Uh, I, people <laughs> tell me, you know, like, Randall, dude, you know, like, you need to have some continuity in your labels. What? Why? Continuity? What? Anyways. So how is it? When you first got into this and you started Bonnie Dune to now, how has marketing and label design and media changed over the years? I mean, now we've got social media, which, by the way, you can tweet Randall. He's on Twitter. You have two or three followers, I think. A couple, one or two. And uh, Randall will reply back to you. But so how has media speaking, changed? Yes. Well, you know, the whole business has changed. I mean, dramatically uh, since I got started. But, and I have to say, I liked it better in the old days, way better. I think a lot of us did. Yeah, it was just, there was a purity, there was an idealism, and there was a sense that like you could make mistakes, you didn't have to be so self-conscious about yeah. everything you did. Uh, it was more forgiving. And people were, in those days, more adventurous. They wanted to try a lot of different things. Now, everyone wants to play it safe. They, they, they want to make sure that the relevant critics like the wine, that it's within a certain stylistic parameter. Yeah. Um, 
And of course, selling wine these days is real large. Uh, the whole wholesale system is largely bro broken. Um, and the relevant critics, like you said, back then, we didn't rely on their scores as much like we do now. Well, you know, the, the, what was so amazing in the day was that the critics themselves were still discovering wine. They were still discovering what it, is, what it was that they liked. You know, now critics themselves are a brand. And so if you're a brand, as everyone knows, you have to be consistent with your brand. So Parker can't one day say, you know what? I really like this kind of light, delicate, elegant, uh, Syrah, low alcohol. Low alcohol Syrah. I mean, it would be fabulous if we did that, but like that ain't gonna happen. Oh yeah, you guys would be in the money then. Yeah. Because yeah. all your wines, I mean, I really like your wines because you hear these complaints about too much oak, too much alcohol, but when you drink a Bonnie Dune wine, it tastes like the grape should taste like. It doesn't taste like a lot of alcohol. It doesn't taste like wood. It represents the place. We try. I don't know. I don't know about representing the place. That would be a beautiful thing. But at least the wines are elegant. They're finesseful. They have a savory quality. They're digestible. Uh, they have life force. They go with food. As hopefully, yeah. hopefully we can demonstrate. We're gonna do some research on that.